Bobby, I had to cut out a bunch of your meows last time. Please don't. <laughs> it's too late. Please too don't, late. Bobby. We are, we're already hearing him. Wait, it's is already. Bobby a girl? No. Bobby's not a girl. I thought I Did heard I call you him a referred girl? to. I, I thought I heard you do that. I might be crazy. No, I have I to cut out. I mean, we might be on the recording, though. So <laughs> if I get the chance to check, I will. Just to check for myself. He's, he meows a lot in the background. So yeah, I have to cut out. He meows a lot. Yeah, he's like, why aren't you looking at me? Going? Why aren't you looking at me? And he's That's already he... started. And it's just the beginning. No meowing, yeah. okay? No meow. I mean, you encouraged him by meowing in front of him. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You just well, did that. This is gonna, on you now. We're going to do something slightly different. This is today. a podcast about cats. Yeah. We're going to talk about cats. That's a slightly yeah, different that's, that's why it's so different. <laughs> well, we're going to start off with two letters because they, they directly refer to Ricardo, a question he asked oh, a, a oh, while okay. back. I, okay. I, I, mean, I don't remember Questions what I, what I eat for Ricardo. breakfast, so this is going to be interesting. Well, you had directly we call asked. It the Ricardo bag. <laughs> the Ricardo bag. Ricardo's bag. bag. Ricardo's bag. <laughs> What's in Ricardo's bag? <laughs> uh, so you had you had directly asked if it's okay to watch Strange New Worlds that it wouldn't spoil anything, and you oh, were yeah. wondering. Uh-huh. So we got two letters from Denise and Aaron, and they're quite short. Aaron Eilers goes. Is it is it a Aaron a Aaron or a a Aaron or is it e a e R A A Ron. It's A A Ron. Uh, Aaron. I once uh, wrote a script <laughs> using dialogue like this. <laughs> it was about a guy named Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Regarding the question about whether you should watch Strange New Worlds, I would say go for it. While it does reference aspects of the original Star Trek series, I do not any- think anything from SNW would spoil the original series. And Denise OGA says, I think you can certainly watch Strange New Worlds. It wouldn't give you any spoilers to TNG, though watching it it has prompted me to go back and watch every TOS episode because they refer to it a lot and to events in Discovery a bit. Hmm. Uh, So as far as I understand, it like finishes off some stuff where the characters were still connected to Discovery in like the first few episodes. And then they go, ah, fuck it. It's not worth it. And then... After Sarah, that. do you have a question? <laughs> <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. Sarah's clicked the. She has something to say. I'm sorry. I'm do sorry. You? Yeah. I, do you guys have Zoom? Do people do that on Zoom at work? Mm-hmm. I've just, I just ha- recently people started doing that in our like Zoom things. They like press the little raise yeah. hand button. And the, is that really great. a thing? It's great. Yeah, because because then oh. sometimes because of the delay, sometimes you don't get. You don't get a chance to like chime in to be like, oh, I have a question. So what you the fuck use are we it, doing you this? like raise yeah. your virtual hand. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, Ricardo has something to say, and I'm you like, see, yeah, you have your don't hand forget, up. don't forget, this has nothing to do with work, but Sriracha is 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 going to be uh, really hard to get this summer. So get your hand <laughs> on it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, sriracha yeah. is one of those things where if we have a shortage of, that's fine. Also, no, tampons. No, Make sure you guys grab your tampons. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys sriracha? have your tampons? Yeah. You guys also, have your wait. tampons all set? Tampon, wait, tampons are great for supply. wounds. If you have wait, a wound. Sir, sriracha over tapatio? Uh, well, uh, yes, a little bit of both. Oh, I thought you were going to okay. say sriracha over tampons. I'm like, why would you do <laughs> yeah, that? Let me tell you. <laughs> I thought sriracha on your tampons. Wow. Well, yeah, well, over it's on like a spicy. Hot I mean, hand. once it's yeah. over, it'll be on soon enough. Self Denise, Denise, hot hand. <laughs> Aaron, thank you for, for that. Uh, now I have another question: Does Strange New Worlds take place before the original series or after? Or is it, it a whole? It's a whole new timeline. What's going on? Yeah, I don't Should know. I watch it? Do I know? I actually don't know. I think it's a prequel info. to the original series because I think Discovery is a prequel to all of Star Trek. That oh, is, really? Yeah. Wait, Discovery is a prequel to all of Star Trek? Yeah, not as far back as Enterprises. It just Enterprise takes place like now? The- it takes place right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, shitty. Everything's fucked. Uh, well, it's like, it's, it's the like the beginning of World War Three. <laughs> Discovery yeah, is, is part of the timeline III. somewhere. Yeah. 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 Oh. I mean, that's, that's, that's minor spoilers. It's the plot of Picard season two is that it takes place right now. Oh, <laughs> it's, okay. it's awful. Uh, <laughs> well, sort of right now, like 10 years from now, but you know, close enough to now that I don't <laughs> care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, look, we're newbie Star Trek. Uh, we're here with Ricardo, Dan, Sarah, and I'm Marvin. Hey, everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm Sarah gonna... this time. <laughs> I'm Sarah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sarah. I, I just 
<laughs> I'm, I'm Dan. There you go. <laughs> uh, we watched Transfigurations this week, which is definitely no, not. No, we watched, uh, we watched Passion <laughs> of the Christ. No, <laughs> Um, well i mean at least in his case all, a lot of that pain well okay the second round of pain was self-inflicted <laughs> oh, Jim Caviezel? yeah that's like he, he didn't have a career self-inflicted wound <laughs> <laughs> now nah, jim Caviezel had a great career afterwards he was in a series called um god damn it it was a jonathan nolan series that was really good oh uh fuck What's that? He's, he's, he's you know, person, that really of, memorable person one? of interest. Person oh, of yeah, interest. Yeah, yeah. Was, Boom. Was, so he was actually in a thing. Yeah. There you go. Jesus Christ. I mean, Jim Caviezel. Yeah. <laughs> JC, either way. Yeah, JC. they're both JCs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not, man. not my JC. <laughs> <laughs> not, not my JC. JC. Not my JCVD. Yeah. No, no. Sean Blood. <laughs> Listen, Transfigurations. <gasps> it first Jean-Claude, aired. Jean Claude. Jean Claude Picard. Boom. Hey, oh, there you it's go. It's a son, dude, in the future. Jean Claude Picard. <laughs> There's a multiverse idea. Yeah, dude. Uh, mm. And we get a new, like the, the Enterprise Are 3. Are you listening, yeah. Disney? One day when you own all this. Yeah. <laughs> Jean Claude. That's on Picard. the table. Yeah. Ooh. And and he's a captain, but he also fucking kicks ass. This this yeah. Picard fucking roundhouse, <laughs> roundhouse. dude. And he does yeah. a split. This is like the, they come into the bridge, and he, he's just doing the splits. He's like captain, <laughs> and he's like yes. He's in, he's in between two captain's chairs, just doing the splits. Hey, but he's but a, at what, least what, this what? time he'll be French. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Belgian, 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 Belgian. But he's okay, right, right, right. At least right. speak French. Yeah. Yeah, and he's just in the ready room doing the splits as he yeah. reads, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he's all, he's all the captains in the uh in the holodeck. What's he doing? The Kumite again? <laughs> <laughs> this it's reminds it's, of a late <laughs> a late twentieth century martial art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then it's, we can loop in Bloodsport as a whole multiverse thing. I mean, yeah. it's great, guys. Really, get me in the room. It, it, if anybody like, knows anybody, let me know. It's a dystopian future, yeah. so they use a digital recreation of Jean-Claude Van Damme <laughs> in order to do it. They're like, we hear you have a hot pitch. What's your pitch? I'm like, here's my pitch. Have you ever seen the uh, Psycho remake with uh, by <laughs> Gus Van Sant? Yeah. <laughs> We'll get shot a load of shot. this, dude. Get a, get a load of this, dude. <laughs> Star Trek TNG, but with Jaden Statham as Picard. Shot and for shot. And we don't change a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> shot for shot remake. Uh, no, let's make a shot for shot remake of The Last of Us and get all the original actors back. <laughs> <laughs> Did they actually bring them back for new performances? Or, That's or is that the impression I'm getting so far. Granted, I haven't looked at everything, but I feel like there's no point in like calling it a remake if you don't do that too. Like, okay, like on the one hand, like an actor, like a stage actor would be like, this is fine. We do this all the time, right? But like sure. these are actors who are generally used to working in recorded mediums. This feels like a waste of time. <laughs> To redo well, that, that, the entire everything. remake is is completely unnecessary. No, it's not unnecessary. It's going to make a lot of money. So no, the- <laughs> money's unnecessary. <laughs> Capitalist, we need, we need more money all the time. It's why yeah. this podcast is sponsored. It's true. Uh, sponsored. Well, listen. No, we don't we get do to this, this for money. Just letting everyone know. <laughs> Before we get to the sponsors, the only let's talk people about- who can change that is you. <laughs> <laughs> Please let's help talk, us. Let's talk about the transfiguration. No, that's not a cry for help. That's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> June fourth of nineteen ninety is when this episode first aired, and we're gonna go around the sun and go warp ten, go back in time and see the whales. Wow, that's a thirty-year trip, buddy. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so I uh, last told you that Back to the Future 3 debuted and took that weekend. However, Mm. it sadly only took one weekend because just next week, we got ourselves Paul Verhoeven's Total Recall. Ooh, that's a good one, though. That's a good Yeah, it, it's it's a decent movie to take that spot away. Oh man, should we Okay, this might this might be a good venue just to be like does anyone remember a TV version mm. of Total Recall where Arnold Schwarzenegger instead of saying hey Benny, screw you, yells at Benny, die Benny. Does anyone remember that? Because because Dan and I both remembered it that way, and we thought we were crazy. We thought this was a Mandela effect, and then we saw on Reddit that other people also heard this, but it's only like a TV version. 
Well, the like, other thing too is like the only like we were only we were only able to find one piece of evidence on Reddit, and it was from an old archived like thread from like you know years and years prior. They so, killed they killed that man because he just got yeah, it, like, it feels like we're getting close to something someone doesn't want us to know. <laughs> we're, we're taking a huge risk by putting this on record we're, on the podcast. <laughs> where's the cut for Hooven? Yeah, where's, where's the, the die Benny cut? Where's the die Benny cut instead of the screw you cut? <laughs> so stupid. Is this Sometimes exist? I honestly believe that I infected you with that memory because no, I feel like I started no, out with it first. No, I remember this as like in high school. <laughs> Marvin, like, you're crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I talked. You're not the only one I talked about this with. I used okay. to say this with my friends in high school. We would All say right. die Betty. <laughs> okay. Right, the, the, so. the, the saga continues. Someone please I don't help believe us. you guys. <laughs> It's we'll fine. It's there. fine. We're used to it. Once okay. Carter well, were you, and I were working together. I have, I have a theory. I have a theory now. Okay. okay. You okay. guys got delirious because you guys ate Del Taco and you guys imagined <laughs> this. No, Ricardo, when we worked together, you tried to help me find the TV I did, version. I did, but I, because I don't believe you. <laughs> I thought you, you were like, about to say, Ricardo, we worked together. We ate Del Taco once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just outed me as a Del Taco eater. But I had every an, meal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every day, every other day, he eats a Del Taco. He's I a really don't liar. want to turn Taco Bell and Del Taco into like another one of our permanent bits forever. <laughs> I, you know uh, what? Let it's us know. too late Let for that. Know. We're going to put a poll. We'll that. put a poll on like Twitter or something. What do you like? Yeah. Del Taco sure, or fucking? Well, Del Taco's destined to lose because it's more local. You know what? No, dude. No. <laughs> you're, now you're making excuses, dude. No, I'm, I'm calling my Johns right now. Johns it. <sighs> Del. Boy. Del Johnson. Okay, uh, sick. <laughs> I only have one more. Uh, John bit. Taco. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> John Taco. Okay, so on the air date of uh, June fourth, I bring this up because our good friend Ricardo here has already referenced him so many times on our program. Mm. Doctor Jack Kavorkian assisted an Oregon woman to commit suicide, which led to a national debate over the right to die, and directly to Ricardo's various references to him when discussing Beverly Crusher. Yep. yep. So it all began on June fourth, nineteen ninety. That's what Doctor Crusher's what Star- legacy. That's what Star Trek Discovery takes place. And <laughs> <laughs> it's about it's about uh, Beverly Crusher's ancestors, <laughs> the Kevorkians. Uh, fantastic. The Kevorkians sound like an alien race from Star yeah. Trek. Oh yeah, I mean you, know, you already have the Cardassians. Yeah, it's true. The, Kevorkians, yeah. the Lassiverians, <laughs> the Electrolytes. <laughs> yep, yep. It's all a rich tapestry. Yeah. Like oh, all right. You know, you know what else is a rich tapestry? Sponsorships. Because sponsorships. It's a tapestry of two. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The first thread in our tapestry, ExpressVPN. Look. Oh, beautiful. Look, if you you are perusing the internet without a VPN, you're giving a ton of shit away. Giving all of your information and data away because net neutrality is fucking dead, man. Why are you giving it up on your first click, man? I know. All these ISPs, they're tracking you. They're trying to figure out where you're going, what type of shit you're looking at. You ever wonder why you go over to like your dad's house and like you decide to like use their toothpaste and then when you come back home, you got now get an ad for that toothpaste because of this shit, man. Yeah. Dude, it's you want to using wanna, a VPN. <clears throat> if you want them to know what kind of IPA you're buying uh, by your ISP, <laughs> then don't use a VPN, dude. Too many ISPs, too many IPAs. Mm-hmm. What, what, whatever IPA you bought without your VPN yeah. that ended up getting you an STD yeah. when you went over there. Yeah. You know, right. They won't get on any PAs and tell everyone all of your information. <laughs> no. <laughs> About your they'll, dad. They'll, they'll put it in a turkey and eat it. Who that is way there's no her. evidence. <laughs> 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 and then he's half Dracula. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking yeah, of Draculas, don't give that, don't let these guys in. Yeah. Don't let, uh, don't, don't let, let the wrong ones revenue. in. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them in. If you don't want to let them in, Use a quality VPN like ExpressVPN because ExpressVPN, they got servers all over the world. And like the name suggests, it's super fast. Not only is it super fast, it's also really reliable and secure. Even governments who have tried to like track people on ExpressVPN have not been able to because they don't keep any logs, no activity logs, no connection logs. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. It actually works on Netflix other streaming services, CBS All Access. Wait, that's now Paramount Plus. 
things keep changing. The times are changing. Yeah. And if you sign up right now at expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek and you sign up for 12 months, you get an extra three months for free. That means the whole package is 49% off. It's a really good deal. And if you don't like ExpressVPN for whatever crazy ass reason, 30 day money back guarantee. It's crazy, dude. Maybe Again. the time travelers and they're like, I, I don't need, I tried Express View him, but I don't have a computer. I'm a time traveler. I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, all right, then just return it. Don't, it's fine. It's a Wanna return it? Yeah. You do that. The, you know, go back to your exp- timeline, you piece of shit. <laughs> that's yeah, Express VPN. Warl- or, like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> go with the hang Morlocks. out with Common. With the Morlocks. I, saw, I was about, I, I was mess. I met, I was messing it up, but I realized it before I even finished the word. I said Warlocks by accident. <laughs> Well, like, oh yeah, oh, warlocks of the past. The warlocks. Yeah. Listen, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek for 49% off if you sign up for 12 months. Because you get an extra three months for free. It's Yo. Pretty good. All right. Well, you know who else would not well, who else would not be 30% off though? Ricardo, could you please tell us <laughs> what? what happened in this episode? I'm running out of, of transitions from, <laughs> from a sponsor to, you, to well, Denise like, Crosby. I, I, I guess you're not wrong. But. <laughs> do you think do you think she'd um she she's a jerky person? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. She grew oh, up yeah. on Tasha. like a, a rough and tumble planet That's where, true. you know, fresh food was probably, you know, not plentiful. She's probably yeah. eaten human jerky and not even like been like, That's fine. Like yeah, when that's she fine. was running from those very questionably named gangs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, know, you need but, you need quick protein action. Yeah. Oh, strange yeah, meat as the Fallout series would call it. Ah yes. Very strange. Um, very so, radical. This show is very interesting. All right, let's get to it. You know what I was thinking? I was watching, I was really high the other day. <laughs> oh, okay. And, um, and I was watching like s- some clip from like the Johnny Depp Amber Turd uh, case. <laughs> and all I could think about was uh, Picard and the measure of man. And all I could think about was uh, her being represented. Oh, no, sorry. Him being represented, Johnny Depp being represented by Picard, like in measure of man. Mm-hmm. And he, he, all I could think about was Picard just, just yelling at fucking at, uh, at, at her lawyers about how, this this is a turd, I say. Uh, this man, this woman soiled this man's bed with a turd. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So this week's episode is very odd, dude, because we have uh, space Jesus, and um, I still Pretty don't understand. It's like it's like not even that veiled a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Well, it's and not like, much one because it's like we invented a Jesus like character. But what he's going through, like, it, it, like anything that he's going through that is Jesus-like is just told to you. Yeah. Like, he's like, yes. he's, well, he's like, he died. And then Beverly Crusher saved, saved him. So, and technically, Beverly Crusher in this universe is God, right? Because yeah, he really resurrected him. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's kind of a messy metaphor. Like, I hesitate to just call him a straight Jesus because of all that involvement with Beverly. And <laughs> well, well. He's a queer uh, Jesus, not yeah, a straight Yeah, it's, I mean, it's his business. Like, not like a Dan, straight Dan, up Jesus. It's his business. Dude. Jesus, you know? He's not yeah. a straight up Jesus. Yeah. He's not a straight up Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So, let's get rid of one storyline so we can come to another. <laughs> One storyline is is for some reason Jordy isn't confident in this episode, mm-hmm. which he is in every other episode. He's he, he talks to women he likes fine. Uh, he, but I, no, it's a sort of a continuation from remember the the weird episode the where he told more yeah. than shown that Jordy has trouble with women. Yeah, but but, but not when we see yeah. it. Not when we see it, uh, except uh, for that one time on the holodeck. That um, one time, in, in, but the rest the same, with the same girl, Christy, yeah, it's which is really girl. weird because she's done a, like a complete one eighty. Now she's kind of into him, like yeah, by yeah. And it's not really explained why. It's just yeah, because well, he ignored there's no- her. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, classic, Jordy ignoring people, then they like him. Um, so it, we've been shown that he's fine around ladies, but we've been told he's not that he's got performance issues Mm -hmm. (laughs) and um and he's not good with the violin um so (laughs) so he he, the episode starts off and he's talking to uh wharf and he's like he's like uh oh she's back there she's back there he's like he tells wharf she's she's back there on that table and he's all oh he turns around he's like wharf is so loud even when he's quiet he makes so much noise (laughs) oh (laughs) <laughs> that's what I imagine him doing. Um, and 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 he looks at it and Jordy's like, "Don't don't look, don't look." And and it's a girl from the <laughs> violin episode. 
and yeah. she's got um she's Tommy Boy's wife. Mm-hmm. She's in the movie Tommy Boy, as I talked about mm-hmm. last week. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. um and he is uh he's he's like he he's gonna get the the courage to go talk to her. And basically Worf is like coaching him. Mm-hmm. Um and it's more weird because I don't imagine Worf as being that successful with women in general. Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Tapatio hot hand dude. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, don't but know. that's that, just the that, one, and that's like his like one true love at least at least has been depicted so far. And it seems almost more like she was really trying to get him to fuck her, and like you know, she tried earlier when they were in that office, and he was like, "No, we can't do it." And it took like like a simulated Klingon battle for them to get hot and bothered. Well, enough. Like, like think, okay, this that just means that Worf duty. has to beat all the ladies off with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the thing: is that just because he doesn't fuck doesn't mean there's not just talk women to them. in it. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I think I find it interesting that she's. I mean, why is she into Jordy now? Like, yeah. I don't know. Just well, because he got a promotion. <laughs> The script like needed her to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh. It's just weird here. because on I mean, the violin date, she wasn't into him. No, at all. Like, you not in the slightest. No. Mm-hmm. Like, after so, that experience in particular, I would imagine that, you know, it'd be kind of like, eh, Jordy's kind of over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't know what changed. Um, maybe they heard that, you know, like Pete Davidson, someone was like, he's got a 10 inch dick or something. And she's <laughs> yeah. like, ooh. They're all, they're all, do you know the 20th century <laughs> character known as? Pete Davidson. <laughs> yeah. Big dick like, energy Pete Davidson. This. Data's been studying him yeah. in the holodeck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's like, like, I heard about this BDE and I wanted to check it out. Like yeah, well, Kim Kardashian well, said. It, he's going to go down in history, you know, as like, he looks kind of like a ghoul, but he's a nice guy. <laughs> and he got all, he bettered all these women. And then people in the future will, t- yeah, because and they'll talk about him <laughs> in the future. Like this dude, he was like marginally talented. He wasn't like kind of funny. Uh, he I was like you heard about him too much for it to just be about size. It, there's got to yeah. be some technique element. No, yeah. that's no, that's literally yeah. it. Like that's literally it. Maybe then he's very talented. Star. Maybe he's very talented. Just hit yeah. a no. porn star, and he's goofy looking, <laughs> weird looking. He makes people yeah. laugh. He's good with his not big claws. I don't know about that. He makes yeah. SNL's laugh not that while funny. they're doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I hope so. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, this girl uh, like goes to get another drink, and she's standing next to Jordy, and she's like, "Hey, Jordy," and she's like, making small talk, and he can't, he can't finish a sentence mm-hmm. for some reason. And he's, we've never seen him do this, so this is why I call bullshit on this fucking storyline. <laughs> <laughs> because he's never like like n- not found words to talk to women, any women, mm-hmm. whether he likes them or not. So I'm calling mm-hmm. bullshit on this, and um, and I like Worf's thing that he that he that because because Jordy's like oh, I, I, I'm gonna go talk to her and stuff, and he's like the look is the first thing. The s- he's talking about all these fucking Klingon things, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. and I like fucking Worf. I wish there was the continuity of him being like you have to start by doing a big yell. Yeah, like. <gasps> He's oh, like that's this. true. He has yeah. already like yeah. given that tip. So that, that that's that means that he has he has been known to give tips for romance. He took that kid under his wing. He dude. fancies himself a ladies' man at least. <laughs> he's that shows There's just confidence here. that he's like I will I will make them want me, but I'll never fuck them myself. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's what the the Chitari do. Um, <laughs> the Chitari. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just he just kind of like he kind of leaves he's kind of like ah oh, fucking Worf's like ah what a idiot um <clears throat> actually then- i love how irritated Worf obviously looks during that whole interaction <laughs> like you can <laughs> see him like seething at at Jordy's incompetence he's irritated the whole episode like, yeah he's, he's, like, no, he's, so. like, he's like you idiot you did the complete opposite of what i said dude and then he fucking dies <laughs> and then and then so uh, <laughs> Yeah. I want to. I want to. I want to just move forward so I wouldn't have to talk about this storyline. Is basically, um, well, because it's gonna pop up, I guess. Uh, he, he all of a sudden he, he meets Space Jesus. He he mind melds with him with a little fucking mm. iPod thing in his head. Yeah, and then magically he's got confidence. Uh, yeah, same confidence, confidence he had confidence. before, by the way. No, he has a ten inch dick. That's, that's <laughs> it the actually well, maybe that his maybe dick that actually, neural link. Is- <laughs> Yeah. The neural point. link went straight to his penis. <laughs> you, th- you think he was He's just like, like thank oh. you for helping me, sir. Beverly, Beverly's like, oh no, you've got Pete <laughs> Davidson itis. That's why he twitched when he when he like it turned on. He went, oh yeah. He's like, suddenly my pants. I mean, honestly, what if that's the reason? Tight. He's like, I don't know. Like, 
I don't know, I just feel more confident, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes up to him later in the episode, which and he goes, like, thank you, you know? Thank, thank you, you for what yeah. you for, did. He's like, and he wins. He's like, <laughs> he's like, thank you for that, the confidence. And he's like, that was not all me, that's all you and the steroids you're taking. <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> yeah. um, so he, um, they get a, they get a call. Jordy gets a call to, that he's needed. And so he shows up and it turns out that, Again, the, another Uber, I guess, was driving and they crashed and they had to go yeah. see other survivors. An escape Uber. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And they get there. <laughs> they get there and they find out that this dude, uh, he he's, got, I don't know what his race is, but they're, they got like wrinkles on their head, on their face. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's horribly burned and he's yeah. missing an arm. Yeah. And so he shows up and he's like, he's like basically dead and mm-hmm. he's resurrected by Beverly. And the way she does it, he's like, she's like, he's too unstable to transfer. <laughs> and, and they've never done this. They never did. They never try to do this with goddamn fucking with Tasha, with nobody. And this is the first time in, out of nowhere. They're like, oh, he's not too stable. So anyway, let's mind meld you two and yeah. uh, see if I can take out two souls for the price of one. <laughs> uh, so this felt really weird because it's like, okay, I need to stabilize this guy. I need a volunteer. It's like, can you volunteer yourself? Yeah, like yeah, you, why could, not? you could put it on your own head. Why did you have to force Jordy to do it? I know. Like, or ask well, Jordy. She didn't, yeah, she didn't ask anyone in particular. Jordy did offer himself up. I know, but, but it's just like, you should. could you just offer yourself? I don't know why you like nah, that. She's that person who asks, like, so who's going to drive and takes out her keys and then you know, <laughs> just holds on to the keys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this dude's missing an arm. He's all burned, and he he mind melds with Jordy, and that's how he gets his big dick energy. And so they're they're this dude's dead, basically dead. And I'm thinking, oh my god, he he <laughs> he happened to be found during Beverly's goddamn shift. You know what I mean? Mm. Like if it was a night doctor, which we don't see in the series, but clearly she can't be the doctor 24 hours a day for this whole shit, right? No, when she's not on duty, people just die like at a natural rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when she's like, on duty, they die faster. They don't they, it's funny because like data never goes, huh, it's interesting. Like the data is showing that <laughs> intended that uh that more people die when she's on duty than when the other doctor's on duty. Mm. And they never go on. Oh, we yeah. should, we should, we should see what's, what's up here. There's something wrong. <laughs> you know, there's so much to say about Beverly in this episode. Like, yeah. <laughs> from her being like, I'm a shitty doctor to taking credit, then not taking credit, then saying, yeah. you know, I'm just like. Then Florence Nightingale. Yeah. 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 It's classic, so. classic Beverly episode. <laughs> she's a bad mom. Yeah. Um, Inappropriate so, with her son yeah. talking about how she wants to fuck. Jesus, <laughs> so, you know, spiritually. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, like this guy starts to recover, and like they're like, "Oh, fucking Beverly's the best, dude." That's why we let her kill off a couple people during them each month. Uh, <laughs> and so they they find out that like he's recovering fast, and he's like kind of he's kind of you find out that he's evolving basically. Yeah, he's and it's like too. annoying because at first when Picard goes up to her and asks, so like. He's recovering. Wow. Great job, Beverly. And she goes, well, actually, I can't take any credit for it. This body's yeah, just kind of recovering no, on his own. Yeah. She <laughs> clearly she clearly says that she didn't do shit. And yeah. she's yeah. not she responsible like, my usual for techniques it. didn't work. He's still alive. Yeah. She's, yeah. Like, I tried, she's like, I tried everything. I tried to get. Which is super yeah. annoying because everybody goes out of their way to be like, oh, my God, you saved yeah, my life. Yeah, because then later, he'll be like, like oh, my oh God, my you God. saved my life. And she doesn't dispute it. She just goes, just yeah, like, no, sure. Totally. You just did your own thing. I just, I don't know. Like, it's, it's. And then she weirdly kind of like takes credit for it later. And I'm like, wait, you said earlier that you had nothing to do with it. Like. Now are you just conveniently taking credit for it? Like it's just really weird. No, well, she'll she'll take what she can get in yeah. terms of credit. Yeah. <clears throat> and this school, this school, we don't know his name, um, <laughs> but we know he's John a Doe. John Doe. Yeah, he's John Doe. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's Kyle Reese, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so this guy, he, he he's basically evolving and getting better as time goes by, and later you find out why. Um, but anyway, in one of the scenes that's happening in between all these, this fucking bullshit Jesus story is it's really that, drawn out. Like, yeah. it just, they, oh, like we get okay. it. Like yeah. after like, like 20 minutes in, we're like, yes, we get it. Yeah. He's yeah. healing. Yeah. Get it. Um, he's, he's a healer. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden fucking jordy has got confidence and he's talking to the lady and then fucking Riker catches him kissing her, making out yeah. with her on the turbo lift. 
Yeah. And I was Spoiler, like, Jordy. Oh, that was Whoa. hot. And the thing is, that's that was actually the a really hot the scene. The end yeah. of the arc is that Jordy is now a ladies' man. Yeah, that's that's it. literally all it is, and that's what's so weird. Yeah, like the whole time because I had never seen this episode before. I'm like, there's got to be like a reason, wh- like it's gonna tilt too far or something. Something yeah, like happen, like the, right? the, the it wears off, like the the, the healing isn't Look, permanent or no, something. No, no, no. You get a big dick, you keep the big dick. You, <laughs> his you dick it. stayed huge permanently. Or, yeah, yeah, but what no, if his dick got, got too lucky. big and now got you got know no one lucky. likes it? You know. No, he got fucking lucky. He got what we call Pete Davidson. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. You, just, you know what we should start doing, and I'm not. Gonna, I'm not saying any. I'll start doing it if I if I have time. Is I'm Is gonna it start Pete re- Davidson? No, no. I'm, well, <laughs> I'm gonna let him do me. Um, I, no, is that I'm gonna start posting the um, the white. It's always sunny font over the black card, <laughs> and just renaming the episodes. Like this one's. Jordy gets a big dick. Yeah. Uh, oh my yeah. God. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. essentially what this yeah. episode is yeah. about. Yeah. Mm. That's his arc. His arc is that. I mean, there's no, there's no other explanation for it. Other like, <laughs> where does the confidence come from? Why, why does she all of a sudden, why is she all of a sudden into him? Like clearly well, nothing changed been- that we can see in terms of. Yeah, but uh, without hold on. clothing, Christy was you know, starting clothing. to come around before he gained his confidence. Yeah, yeah. So no, but she didn't like him though. No, like she she took the at the time beginning of like, this episode. She, she does, yeah, yeah, like to, yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. She bothered to come up to the bar and strike up a conversation. That takes some real like it takes some chutzpah, man. And also, when he goes up to her, is like, do you want do you want, do you want some company as you go back to the arboretum? She's like, oh. I thought you were interested in me, and then she he goes. But that's oh, after so that's after he gets his big dick. They're all playing yeah, games. But, dude. But, They're but, all playing but games. But it means, dude. but it means that like for a while she was like hoping he would like yeah talk to her, and he just didn't because he's he was a low confidence man. Yeah, and now he's a high confidence man. No, he's a big dick man. <laughs> <laughs> I like. There's a scene where um. Uh, Jordy, Data, and uh, Worf go to the bar, mm-hmm. and they're like, um, they're gonna relax and have you know some time off, or so they. are looking over this stupid thing that <laughs> they got from the ball that yeah. that probably yeah, should be in like they, isolation. That they keep yeah. just around, fucking like, walking around ball. with it. Yeah. 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 They, they say it's every, like a chemical thing. They're like, getting yeah, every chemical and code, yeah. and they're just like rattling it around in their hand. And like, <laughs> he's like, "What is in here? Uh, probably <laughs> cancer, dude. Stop shaking it, dude." Um, and then touching and then, it and rubbing it. They're like, I, "Maybe it's a fucking thing." Yeah, yeah. I love it's very how odd. I love how, how uh, Worf gets very upset, and he's like, <laughs> "He's like, God damn it! This is time for re- <laughs> <laughs> we should get some relax. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? And then talking about things I don't understand. Yeah, and then. And finally, uh, Jordy just leaves, leaves him to go talk to the chick. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then fucking stupid space Jesus wakes up. Let's run this. Let's run through this because there's no point. The, the scenes repeat themselves over. Yeah, and they, do. Over they do. Over. Yeah, they, they do. just kind of they just kind of escalate. It's like, oh like at my first, god, it's like, who is he? Oh my yeah. god, he's healing. Yeah. Oh my god. And, and he doesn't know who he is. He's like, who am I? Where am I? Uh, he's yeah. got fucking amnesia and shit. Yeah. And so, just like Jesus. Just like Jesus, <laughs> classic storyline. Jesus storyline. Yeah. Uh, and and he, so basically, he uh, he gets better. He starts tap dancing. He's like, uh, <laughs> at first he can't walk, and then he's like, "Hey, you have any music?" And he's like, "What about the, <laughs> what about a Sonic shower?" And he's fucking just dancing and shit. He's a shimmying. Uh, yeah, he cleans he's got a top nice. hat and a cane. Yeah, um, Beverly was like, "That's when I fell in love with him." Yeah, <laughs> and this this whole time she's like, she's kind of like got a thing for him, but not so much. So it's so noticeable that that even like uh, the war criminal known as um, what's his name? Uh, Wesley. 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 Uh, Wesley. Well, he's like oh, Danny. <laughs> Wesley, even he's like, oh, when they go, to, when he has dinner with his mom, he's like, ah, oh, your patient or your, you know, like the the it's guy. It's a weird conversation for, for him yeah. to be having with his mom. He's like, so do you want to fuck her? Yeah. Like, do you? <laughs> you it's also a weird, like example of like Will Wheaton acting worse than usual. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like his it's line like readings he, are so weird and awkward in that scene. Like, yeah, it it's, like, it's like, like he's talking to nobody. It seems like he's th- nobody's actually sitting across from him, and he's just saying lines. <laughs> Maybe there that's wasn't. What that's what it seems like. Which like, is possible. Will, we, need, we just got to get these done. Like at the end of the day, Will, you're Will, the only one left you, because you, you know you have a half day because you're still a kid. So we just got to rush you in here. You know she's yeah. not available right now. So just just fucking do your lines. <laughs> Sit down. Just, God <laughs> damn it, Will. 
And then so the the scenes keep repeating themselves and like basically he finally gets well and he's walking around and then at one point uh miles o'brien shows up and he's he was in the holodeck you know what he was doing mm. he's probably fucking what are you talking and about he, he was yeah. uh seen no. to his kayak ladies no dude <laughs> he's, he's, they're like they're like oh. someone's fetish is just watching women kayak yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I follow them around uh, while they swim in my <laughs> kayak. <Those> broad shoulders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so. <laughs> He's so, even got the outfit on, the wetsuit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Such old, a 90s wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so 90s. <laughs> Miles O'Brien, he fucking has a dislocated shoulder. And uh, then Space Jesus just touches him and heals him. He's like, yeah. oh, no problem here, bro. Although at first I thought he wanted to kill him. <laughs> He's I, like, I hate the Irish. That's what I remember. <laughs> well, because I, I thought I thought like he was he, I had forgotten the arc. So I I thought it was, you know, because because Miles is like complaining loudly to Beverly. So I thought he was gonna turn around and be like defensive of him. Yeah. Of right, her, right. And yeah. just be like, you don't talk to Beverly that way, I'll fucking rip your head off. But no, he's the just week. <laughs> Yeah, he just goes over and just touches his shoulder. Shoulder. I love how after being healed, though, Miles like looks at him like, "What the fuck did you do?" <laughs> <laughs> like he is not impressed. Why did you he touch just me? Freaked out. I didn't consent to this. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. I- I've not had my all. shoulder dislocated and it's extremely painful. So I, when Miles yeah. was like, "Hurry up! Hurry up!" <laughs> like, you know, she was taking forever. The funny part is, okay, this is this also demonstrates how shitty of a doctor she is because all you have to do with a dislocated shoulder is just pop it back in. <laughs> yeah, and, like and what, what you might want is like an, an anesthesia ray or something. Yeah, but know, she goes, make no, I have to go it. off and get some sort of special robot well, thing. Maybe she was going to get some painkillers because it's probably advisable but, that you're But they, they always have that first. little neck thing on them. She could have just done that. It's true. Popped it. She just didn't know what she was doing. She just needed a robot to actually pop it back in for her. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like those doctors who, like, you know, technically learned how to give an injection, but have never done it in like you know twenty years. <laughs> oh yeah, because all yeah. the nurses always do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, one oh, day, shit. like, you know, uh-huh. you like you're a medical professional, right? You got to do it. And she's like, uh, <laughs> let me make sure I got my my things. And then she walked away, and she she probably had no intention to come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it uh, was a lucky save that Jesus is right there. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, oh, he's got it, and then she walked well, back. Like, oh, one of my I attendants will step in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, how about that? Oh, <laughs> and so, so she saves. Uh, sorry, he saves him from having a dislocated shoulder and dying because Beverly can do shit. And then, um, <laughs> oh man, this Beverly storyline is really crazy. <laughs> She's really yeah. Into I don't know for okay, what reason. Okay, but she claims she claim, she claims only spiritually. What whatever that mean? means. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. I lo- I'm Are into you? him, but only spiritually. You yeah, know what I mean? that's what it's- they all say about the cult leader. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fuck him. I just want to fuck his spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's what is fulfilling. that? Even- yeah. I don't. I don't need the large dick. I just like to know that it's there and available. Yeah. And then, and then Beverly has the stupid, weird ass conversation. He has a soul dinner, dick, man. Um, <laughs> she has the, the yeah, dinner. Yeah, with Wesley. The dinner with Wesley. And it's a weird dinner. Like they have salad and then they have lemonade, but they also have, they're drinking hot chocolate. It's a, it's a weird <laughs> fucking. It's a <laughs> wild it's fucking in the future. <laughs> yeah, they are drinking hot chocolate. It's like pink lemonade, hot chocolate. Yeah. They always eat salad. fucking nonsense in every like TNG dinner scene. It's You always look at their plate and you're like, what are you eating? They're eating like Maybe it became salmon. popularized in like the 23rd century when all that was, you know, around is like scrounged up packets of like processed food from supermarkets <laughs> yeah it's like a that's like a whatever. fallout diet they all yeah eat. it's like country <laughs> time lemonade plus like a can of you oh my god country oh, time sense. lemonade this like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah this actually totally makes sense i love there's lots of there's lemonade. a lot of yoohoo's around that survived the the, the new oh era god, radiation so. <laughs> there's probably a lot of taco bell yeah, all the Taco Bell. I love Taco survived. Bell. Am I one of these people that would definitely yeah. enjoy this meal? Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 future, Sarah would be like, "This is this is a grand this is old buffet." Why are you salivating <laughs> over Beverly and Wesley's dinner, Sarah? <laughs> Processed hot chocolate, Country Time lemonade, and Taco Bell. The Swiss Bell. is the missus. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know what's so, you, you know so crazy? Yeah. Is like, <laughs> 
<laughs> what? I haven't even thought about that. In so uh, long. <laughs> uh, this this uh, fucking this this ghoul fucking alien gets better as soon as he gets better and he walk in his own. Barely, he's like, I'm taking you to the bar, getting fucking drunk. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him this drink. I'm gonna give him she... this alcoholic drink that I don't yeah. know if you can handle her. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. is yeah. that the first thing she shows him? Like, oh, I'm gonna take you to the bar. Yeah, yeah. And so two things start happening. One is that they they start being chased by a, by a ship that's that's like following them, like trying to catch up to them. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing is that this uh, alien ghoul, like I guess when he senses the ship, he he's like, oh, uh, I, I have to go. I have out. to get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, West uh, Beverly. And she's like, I can't, motherfucker. Like I can't just leave the ship. <laughs> and uh, and so um, he starts to panic, and he's like, he's I don't know what his deal was, but like, is he trying to steal a ship to get out of the? I think he was trying to steal a shuttle pod. Yeah, yeah. And I he thought just, he was gonna like break a window and like try to jump out. <laughs> <or something. laughs> I, I, I need to like, get the oh fuck out of here. <laughs> well, I I had a confabulated memory of him opening the bay doors without the force field, and he just like flies out. <laughs> I don't know why. I had <laughs> That'd that be memory. awesome. And then well, yeah, and then almost like, looks we'll like he might do that when he's in like the shuttle bay and he opens up the bay door. Yeah, yeah. He might just run out there and jump but he doesn't yeah yeah he does yeah he <clears throat> and so th- this episode starts to get really funny because <laughs> uh first of all he he basically kills wharf he kills Worf. yeah 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 he, he totally fucking killed him it's his fault yeah. directly like this and, is the hardest wharf has ever jobbed yeah to date <laughs> And and so Worf, he oh fuck, it's weird. He's like chasing him, and he's like, he's like, calm the fuck down, dude. Like, like you got to come with us, dude. Chill the fuck out. And then he's like, I can't control this. And then he like, ugh, he has like orgasms in his pants or something, and like <laughs> he, he shoots like energy, and, and Worf falls, and he breaks his neck. Yeah, but he never, he, he never dies. like, he never puts his hands up out or anything. He just fucking falls weirdly. Um, right on his neck. Does. Yeah, yeah. Right on his neck. Uh, yeah. And Beverly is like, oh my God, he's not breathing. No vital signs. And his neck's broken. And then the fucking traveler. I, I find it so, so unbelievable actually that a Klingon would break his neck from yeah. a one story yeah. fall. That's, and it's a Klingon. This is really oh, sketchy like, here. Are you ready for the sketchy though. part? Yeah. <laughs> he's got weird vulnerabilities. So th- this is a really sketchy part, which is that he just said, get away from me because I can't control this. I don't know how, what, what's happening. Mm-hmm. But then the next thing is he's standing next to three other people. So he's like, ah, it's fine. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he heals Worf. And then he just stands there. And he's like, he's like, ah, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. And, and it's like, oh, what the hell, dude? Either you're going to, you're, you're like a supernova or you're not. Like, what the fuck are you, dude? Yeah, um, he's bipolar Jesus. That's true. <laughs> just like I'm in the Bible. Where, <laughs> yeah. Just like so in the Bible he, where Jesus is killing even, people left and right accidentally. <laughs> why was he even able to get that far? I to the shuttle, I, I, to like I don't the know. thing. Like, where, why, are there, where is there like security? Like, I don't understand. Why does like, a shuttle bay have a mezzanine that's only accessible by a turbo lift and not by like stairs? You have to like yeah, leave the know. room entirely in order to go. And this is this whole setup is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's only just, designed so not, Worf can fall. He should not have been able to get there. <laughs> yeah. No. There should have been no. a, a whole like fucking levels of fucking security that he had to deal with before well, that's he got also there. The, the general problem with the enterprise right like they they always just let people go wherever they want they have no security protocols it's all an honor system i don't like people, this yeah it's it's not yeah it's not, that yeah. doesn't work for me, not yeah. for me see that's the future yeah. liberals want you, yeah <laughs> you just sneak torches into any you want to be less safe <laughs> yeah. huh do you want do you want no locks on anything yeah not even holodecks. Yeah. So anyway, you could just take a fucking space shuttle. So anyway, th- this group of people are, are coming to get this dude, and then his, his this dude's like, ah, whatever you do, don't don't turn me in. And then these dudes, these dudes, first of all, they don't want to communicate with anybody. They're they're mm-hmm. they're getting the hail. They they're hailing them, but not, they're not replying. They're not replying the face the FaceTime message. And so um, they scan them, they scan the Enterprise, and then they they FaceTime, and they're basically like, hey, we're looking for this dude, the dude that's right next to you, this fucking bitch. And, and he's like, okay, well, well, we found him, and he was in a, in a crash shuttle, and we saved him. You know, we, we helped him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, congratulations, you just saved a goddamn criminal. <laughs> and, and they're like, well, we don't, you know, like, what, what's going on? And so basically he says, like, oh, he was part of four other dudes that were, like, on the run for the people. Electrolytes or whatever they're called. Mm. And uh, they're criminals, and we thought we killed them all, but we got to kill this guy. And which is, which is really dark. Like, and, like, their crime is, like, they're, like, kind of 
disruptive a little bit. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're truth tellers. They, they're not letting us tell our lies. <laughs> they hated him yeah. for he told the truth. Yeah. Yeah. The way they describe it, they, it's almost like you would think they're like street performers or something. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, it's almost like this guy's. It. It's almost like, like this guy's Mitch McConnell, and he's like, "Oh, we don't want people knowing the truth." <laughs> Wait, so is this civilization that they're engaging with here? Like, they're not part of the Federation, right? No, they are not. This is no. uncharted okay. territory in the galaxy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so they are a warp capable civilization that is not Federation affiliated. Yeah. yeah. Which is also why they're not treating them with like full prime directive way. They're like directly interacting and doing all the stuff because they're like, okay, you're already in space. We can. No, yeah, you can you urinate in hours. space if you want to. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so uh, this guy's like, turn him in, turn us immediately, and he's like, oh, let me get back to you, dude. And then he goes to talk to him, and he's like, he's like, oh, I remember. Uh, these guys are bad dudes. Like, don't give me up to them and stuff. And he, he doesn't know why. He just has yeah, the feeling. He's just like, it. I got a feeling, dude, in my butt. I got an itch. <laughs> and so basically, he, uh, Picard comes back. And he's like, hey, um, so without any details, I can't give him, like, why are you going to fucking execute this dude? Like, I need to know more context. Like, your whole shitty excuse uh, isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, it's not your fucking business, you fuck. And then (laughs) then he basically goes, fuck you. And then he, he starts to choke everyone on the ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening here. Yeah. No one. This is. Yeah, this that was goes, crazy. This is the most contrived like, bullshit oh. in the world. Yeah, and yeah. and it's like that they, they have that power. Then we should just blow them out of the fucking air, dude. Yeah. And anyway, everyone, it. everyone's doing this whole thing, the total recall thing, back to wrap that up. Is everyone's oh, like, nice. oh, the air, oh, they're doing that <laughs> thing. Their eyes start breathe. bulging. Yeah, <laughs> bulging. <laughs> and then, and then the the traveler uh, part two, he's like, oh, Beverly, my love, and he saves her immediately mm-hmm. and i think dude everybody else is dying on the ship like what are you doing talking to her like oh i remember and then he starts to tell her that he remembers who he is and all this bullshit i'm like dude everyone's dying dude mm-hmm. and then he does this move where he like he's like oh fuck why how could i do it one by one no let's do the whole ship and he mm-hmm. he basically cures the whole ship by touching the ship <laughs> yeah. so like what the hell <laughs> yeah that was so that was there so weird bullshit. that was a cop out no. Uh, it, it reminds me of the Jackie Chan Adventures <laughs> episode where they're all on a cruise ship and the cruise ship is sinking because there's a hole and they're like, mm-hmm. but what if we heal the ship and they use the horse talisman to heal the ship and nice. that's, that saves everyone. Hey, that's the sort of stupid logic you'll find in like Jojo. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm willing to deal with that. Uh, that's, that's a crazy yeah. diamond attack right there. Yeah, that's true. And, that's um, true. And so uh, they're like, oh, fuck, you know, like he's like, don't don't turn me in. I'm going to save everybody. He touches the ship. He saves everybody. And then he's like, um, he basically co- goes into the bridge and everyone's like standing up again because they're all mm-hmm. dying. And he basically he does this crazy move where like he he brings the guy in from FaceTime to the bridge. He's like, mm, right. He brings him in. And he's like, he's like, I remember you're a piece of shit. You're trying to kill everybody who's like changing. And basically you find out that these small group of people were evolving or morphing into a new species, basically. Jesus. Be- Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus aliens. Jesus, but these two Jesus I? The the original Jesus. the original people of this of this colony or whatever planet, they have such yeah. strong powers that they could choke a whole fucking <laughs> ship. Yeah, they Wait, don't so, even so specify is that, is how that, that's working. Yeah, is that is it the ship, the other ship that's doing that? Yeah, or no, it's is the it, guy. It's or is the it the guy? guy yeah. The guy no, is doing it. It wasn't. It, it was the the main villain of the episode. Yeah. So he has Not the Jesus. power. Yeah, he does. To choke so that's people. what he has, the Jesus he has force powers. Yeah. Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate saying, is choking everybody. Yeah, the Jesus was saying that like, this is actually Darth Vader without his powers. <laughs> yeah. This dude has stronger powers. He's got teleport powers. But like, they oh. don't want to accept the power. Like, it's like they. He's like everybody can be like me. That's what Jesus was trying to say. Yeah. It's just like you guys have it. Like, I'm not special. Like, yeah. you can do this too. It's just like he wanted to control everybody. I think evil guy. You know, because if you become like Jesus, you know, you don't need to, you don't want to be controlled. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you and don't realize, Jesus, you realize, you realize Jesus. the power that you have, you know, you I don't have know if the, the metaphor power is quite things. that one to one, but like, yeah. <laughs> you know, what's so crazy is that, that he finally like, he brings him in and he's like, he's like, you won't let us just be fucking X-Men and I'm, I'm Dark Phoenix. And then he turns into fucking like uh, one of those yellow fucking 
bright ass um, more morph suit guy morph suit dudes and he's like <laughs> he, and he starts moving weirdly then after he's like oh <laughs> no he doesn't but he starts he starts it's talking like he starts yeah. talking differently yeah he, his voice is now. all weird yeah it's so he's modulated like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and he's no like no one um, cared who I was before I put on the morph <laughs> the morph suit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he sounded exactly yeah. like that he's like is that painful and he's like uh, to you <laughs> um, <laughs> it would be extremely painful. painful. Um, and like so, it was a bad move to allow any shading to remain on his like special effects shots. Yeah, like you so can clearly <laughs> see the boundaries of his suits. So apparently, yeah. the way the way they made it work is that it's actually like covered in some sort of like paint that reacts with the film in a certain way. So right, the glowing right. effect is not post. It's actually like in camera. Mm. And, and, and my theory really is cool. that they should have gone into post and done some yeah. more. Yeah. I think they were just like, we don't have a lot of budget for this fucking episode. We're just going to move on. <laughs> I think it was probably like, this was a novel idea. It's like, Hey man, what if we did this? And it's like, Ooh, that sounds like it would be cool. And, and then, then they, they did it, it and it and wasn't quite like, that cool. Yeah. But it was you know, cool enough. I thought I was impressed. It's novel. It impressed yeah. me. I, was, easy. I, was, I just wish I couldn't see the creases in the suit. I guess that's <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah. I wish I couldn't see, I see all the creases and wrinkles. It kind of ruins it for me. <laughs> speak, I wish I could, speak, I wish speaking I could, of creases, I, I couldn't see his fucking moose knuckle. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of creases in suit, when he's in that white su- sweater onesie, yeah. god damn, that is oh, the yeah. most revealing, defined, episode. like. <laughs> Dude, that is skin the most tight <laughs> white clothing is a, you know, that's a sentence. That's you, the yeah. strongest camel toe I've ever seen in my life. It's you have to, crazy. You have to show off your goods in skin <laughs> tight white clothes. Yeah. Like They couldn't have given. Like, given him a slightly looser pant. Like it had to be that tight against his no, balls. No, it's Star Trek, the sexiest no. show on CBS. And because, because it's already so tight, if he like tucked his balls a different direction, it would have just looked like the balls were smushed the other way. So he had to keep it straight. It's right center, <laughs> right on the balls. Uh, well, we're making a lot of I assumptions mean, here. <laughs> yeah, we it's are. what it looks like. You could see the you could see the balls being squished. Yeah, in the white. I shots. mean, you know, some people like that. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely, oh, no. you know, this poor guy. Would you, yeah, I, I could. Would you wear it if you were on set? No, I'd, like, no, I'd be like, give me, a, give me a modesty. <laughs> <puppy>. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Please loosen mom. this. I can't act. Loosen this. My balls <laughs> I am are glad out. you brought up the uh, X Men parallel, though, Ricardo, because that's what I was thinking the whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's like, he's like, see, I'm very powerful now. And and my thought was like, if I'm like, if I'm Picard, I'm like, dude, this dude's bringing people back from the dead, dude. Let's just ask him to stay, or can we have one of your peoples to be our, our sh- like, yeah. just like, um, just like uh, Deanna Troy is mm-hmm. a mind reader. I mean, when she wants to be. Like have this one of these dudes, one of these these aliens, be on the ship all the time, and then we don't need fucking Beverly yeah. <laughs> at all. Because he could just do anything. Yeah, he'd be like, "You're you're saved. You're saved. You're saved. Are you? Fucking, you're saved." <laughs> yeah, and just fucking uh, zap them back to life. And if, yeah. if he was around, Tasha would be alive. But no, dude, Beverly was in charge. Fucking killed her. No, yeah. I think he she killed her, dude. It's <laughs> my theory now. Just, just, anyway, just for fun. That's it. The dude goes with those people and goes, hey, um, you got to change the way you're thinking, dude. You're a fucking idiot, dude. And then they learn about their evil ways and they go about and the Enterprise leaves without the, their savior. Yeah. It was, it was for it being so close to the end of the season. This was a bullshit fucking uh, It's episode. pretty bad. Yeah. It's a pretty bad episode. Yeah, this was not a good episode. The yeah, only I think thing- I liked it a little better than you guys did, but- for, That's surprising, I don't know. Dan. You're like always on the opposite end. <laughs> I don't know how it always ends up that way. It's not like, like you're I'm always to do like, that. oh, I liked it, you know, or something like random. You're like, what? Like, why? Well, I think okay, I, I, I'll admit that at times I can be a contrarian, but it's not like you're totally a contrarian. <laughs> but it's just like your your guys' opinions are always like tend to be stronger than my own, and so you know, it's just like the temper. I mean, so like, like, like Del I Taco. Would, yeah. It, well, that's exactly what happened to Del Taco. Everyone started shitting so much on Del Taco. It's like, Del Taco's like, it's it's okay. Dan, you know what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. It's you're okay. Crazy. Well, no, well it's I'm, not. listen, listen. I would have, I give this a five. It, it's just, it just it drags on way too long. Yeah. Because we get it. Mm, he's, mm-hmm. he's Jesus. And then it ends. Uh, the only saving grace, honestly, is that, as usual, Patrick Stewart makes the best of a bad situation. 
And his few lines of delivery at the end of the episode are like the best parts of the episode where he's like, we are honored to be in the presence of a new life, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, no, cool. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't buy that. <laughs> Even uh, he couldn't save saying that in front of that costume. <laughs> <laughs> he kept looking, he kept looking he down. Kept glancing down. Uh, yeah. We are uh, honored to. Uh, be, be in front of such a wonderful package. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, this is kind of I mean, an odd pull, but it's very specific for me. This character also remind, kept on reminding me of a uh, Justice League, like DCAU character, which, which one? was um, Amazo the Android. Uh, maybe is way more interesting. <laughs> yeah, he is because like he was like created by something and then like continuously evolved as like an uh, artificial life form. Yeah, this, this um, thing is every lame, time dude. you saw him come back, he was like more and more like crazy and, and, yeah. and yeah, godlike. So yeah, it's like That's basically what like Amazo is essentially of. what if God has like the emotional maturity of a child? You know, like that's that's like the interesting aspect of Amazo. Whereas this is just like, yeah, I figured it out. I was Jesus the whole time. Goodbye. Well, yeah. And then like, I I don't find satisfaction in likening this character to Jesus because of how like his powers are definitely Jesus-like, but everything else about it, there, mm. there's not like an element of being a savior there really. Well, like, he's, he's actually supposed to be kind of the savior of their species because he's going to elevate them to the next level of evolution. But he, he, he was going to do it to that guy by touching him. Are you are you insinuating that Jesus was like in 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 Christian canon supposed to signal a evolution of our species? Well, I think he was supposed to be like like some sort of like revelation for people, like even by touching them. Like there's that story in New there's Testament a whole book where about those. I, yeah, <laughs> but here's the thing: even if he wasn't Jesus, Jesus, this episode still fucking sucked. <laughs> That's what I yeah, think. Sorry, I was just taking issue with 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 the analysis here. Yeah, um, he's, he's Jesusy enough. He's Jesusy. He's, he's, he's Jesus esque. He's in the Jesus ballpark. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah, he's got Jesusness. He's a, he's a rewrite of Jesus. Yeah. So he's yeah, a mixtape. Less of interesting, Jesus. honestly. <laughs> uh, so what what would what would Sarah give episode? Um, I would give it a four. You know oh, what? I'm lower. changing mine to four. Yeah. Because right. just... five means like a C. That's like average, a C. Yeah. I want it to be have it like a D. So four. I didn't like this episode. Okay. I mean, yeah, it D. just really. D works. D works. It really I mean, went on and on and on. And like, no, I feel like nothing happened. And it, you know, the whole Jesus thing too. Like, I don't know. So like, he was in made, white. So... It was very on the nose. And I yeah. just was like, uh, you know, uh, like true. all the phrases, like I, I connect to him spiritually. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, so, his spirit. So we so we just, just like, saw Menage okay. Troy as well. Like, do you do you think that's a better episode than this episode? Than this? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Yeah. I agree. I just wanted to know where we stood. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. No, this is like this is a pretty bad one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was just it just it should have. Yeah, because the season the, the season floor. the last the the, the penul- penultimate two episodes and. Pretty badly. It's like a like a, a pretty sputtering way to end what was otherwise a pretty solid season. Uh, Dan, what would you what would you rate it given given your mild outlier stats? What did you give it? Now I'm 69. at a four. I think we're all at a four now. Oh, yeah. oh y'all y'all <laughs> went down to four. Huh? Dan's yeah, gonna yeah. go ten. Yeah, <laughs> no, not a not a ten, <laughs> but like six, six or nine. Yeah, it's six. Oh, okay, God. six. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I don't want to watch. I don't want. I wouldn't vi- watch this ever again. No. Right, well, but what did what did you like about it, Dan? Like, what were the pos- Like, what are some of the positive? I don't know. Things? There's I'm a lot curious. of stuff. It's it's a very Star Trek episode to me in certain ways because you got a whole like two minute long segment of nothing but jargon. You oh, got. I, I hate that though. That's like the worst kind know, of Star Trek but jargon. It's part of what Star Trek is. You no, have I, the- an absurdly <laughs> powerful energy being, a brief meet and judge with another culture. <laughs> You got a bit of meandering, like, well, it is very meandering and very, like, clearly um, the subject of many rewrites and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that Geordi plot really just fizzles in the middle of nowhere. Just stops. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it stops, like, at a, at a different place where it began. And it, it almost well, makes just, me want to believe yeah. that, well, maybe this is, like, this isn't the end of this arc. Maybe Geordi's has like residual crazy powers that will lie dormant in him. (laughs) Hey, he got touched by fucking Jesus. (laughs) Touching Jesus gave him sexual powers. 
<laughs> I mean, we're already insinuating that his dick got larger just because he he had a little uh, chip on his forehead for a second. I feel like wouldn't, this is wouldn't the future just allow people to grow larger penises if they desired? Like, yeah, the 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 replicator could just make you a dick. Like, I'm sure there's a procedure yeah. now in the future. The traveler you- was probably one of those doctors. <laughs> yeah, but the it's first, like the first traveler. It's like a luxury thing. He's a Wesley. <laughs> you have to pay a lot. Wesley. This is one of the few things in the future friend. you have to pay for. Yeah. Well, I mean, cosmetic <laughs> surgery everyone's working hard never for actual money. Like, they like, we want to pay, you know? <laughs> is it cosmetic if it's also affecting physically, you know? Yeah. Well, many, many people who receive cosmetic surgery would argue that. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I will right. bring attention to one more thing that I, that always gets me. Like, it's when they beam down to like that planet where they find mm-hmm. um, John. And Data says, radiation levels within acceptable limits. <laughs> While they're all, like, on the planet already fully exposed yeah. to whatever they're in the middle yeah. of. <laughs> uh, you feel like they should have, they would have figured that out before they fucking teleported there. Or, you know. <laughs> yeah, and also, I'll give shout outs to another uh, line that, you know, people may or may not enjoy from Worf. It's when you see Jordy like, successfully, like, oh, yeah. you know, like, swoon somebody. You know, Worf says, like, I've been tutoring him. He is learning very quickly. And you know, he's seen, he seems all proud about, you know, all so of his proud. all of his sniffing tips and, you know, putting on that bat left <laughs> body spray. <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. Uh, fucking Worf. All right. Well, what a messy nothing episode. Transfigurations. Uh, well. That was this week. It's a mixed episode. bag at best. Let's see. It's that. a mix. Yeah, at, at best. Like it's a I'm, mixed I'm just bag. not mad at it. I would never watch that again. It feels like I wasted my time. <laughs> like honestly, uh, I don't care to watch any looks on an episode ever again. Well, I guess I guess that's where I differ from you. It's like Damn, sometimes Dan. I find looks on a like kind of funny, and I go, okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't feel that way at all. Are we? I hate her guts. Dan is like, how are we even friends? How are we even friends, Dan? I, I, I don't could, understand. I, I, I don't. I could do without. Are we not anymore? I don't actually. I don't know if we're friends. You're right. It's like everything you, everything I like, you like the opposite. It's like. How oh, do you feel uh, about Tim Burton? Yeah, you say Bobby's a guy, I, I say he's a girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Talking to my well, cats, by the way. Bobby. Bobby. Oh. Bobby can be a girl. He's gender fluid. Huh? There you go. Are you? Yeah. You're gender right. fluid, huh? Well, He's thanks for me. listening to our spirited discussion of transfigurations, everybody. Oh, it's always spirited, isn't it? Oh, it's always spiritual, isn't do it? you feel oh, the spirit within you? <laughs> Uh, if you if you like what you've been listening to, maybe you can help us out. Give us a rating wherever you are. If you're on Spotify, you can give us a rating. If you're an Apple podcast, you can give us a review. Podcast Addict also review. And maybe other places you listen to do, do, do similar things. We don't know. Let us know if that's a thing. Also, if you ever want to reach us, send us an email, send us a comment, etc. You can reach us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. I know we had a letter at the at letters at the beginning, but this letter is like actually re- regarding a recent episode, so I think it's okay. worth doing it now. So the it's Patrick. So Patrick, Patrick. has apparently contacted Patrick us before. Yes, Patrick, Stur- <laughs> cool. please, God, I would die. Because, that would be so I, awesome. I don't remember very well, but the the letter is titled "It's Patrick Again." So I well, sorry. I remember. He, I remember. I remember <laughs> he getting mail from a man named Patrick before. Okay. Okay. So welcome so back. I have a vague recollection. It's Patrick Wilson. <laughs> I bragged to my roommates that you guys read out my email on the podcast. Thank you, guys. Just finished your episode on Sarek. Seems like the reference to Spock was subtle enough for Roddenberry, the producers, to think it would include listeners in. My only guess is maybe they wanted to avoid the perception of fan service. Great episode besides, and I'm always glad when you get to talk to an expert. Thanks, Jasmine. I can't wait to hear what you guys thought of the Loxana Learns Ferengi Handjobs episode, and hopefully ripped on Wesley appropriately for missing his Uber. Can't wait for the season finale. It's one of the greatest television moments of the decade, and I'm excited to hear what you guys have planned. Keep it up, and remember to always make time for Umox. So thank you, Patrick. I don't know uh, that much about Umox. (laughs) Mm, well, you know that that's how you beat everybody in the Kumite. <laughs> well, that's how you get accepted into the Kumite. 
He does the umak on the bricks. Oh man, you got you got to do that to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You he's, have and to then give the, all the, the people the, in the kumite umaks. Then the dude's like the, the bottom one. He's like the bottom one, and he's like oh umak. <laughs> I don't like those the umaks, the ones at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, that's exactly what they do. That's exactly what they do. All right. Well, thank you well, very uh, much, That Patrick. seems to be uh, like, okay, I actually don't remember the exact context, but this seemed to imply that Patrick was the person who asked or who was wondering aloud or in writing <laughs> whether <laughs> Ricardo would pick up on the link to Spock at all. No. No, it wasn't. I just found the old ep- uh, letter he sent. Uh, he's the one who, who like he's the f- first writer or letter writer who liked us saying "fuck my dude, piece of shit." Oh, oh nice. yeah. yes, okay. So he's I a, he's a fan of George never Carlin. Mind. I remember now. Yeah, yes. So thank you again for yes. being cool with all of that. I hope our ripping of Wesley missing his Uber was satisfactory. <laughs> this one we we got to rip on him a bit. Yeah, well, not as much as we would like to. No, but no. but it's it's hopefully it's one day he'll get his due and he will fucking get stabbed somewhere. Yeah. Oh God, he's he's in the 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 ensign uniform this episode. It's still jarring. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it, it's also insulting to everybody else who worked so hard. To get into Starfleet Academy, yeah. just to see this guy just fucking, oh, okay, here's a new fucking uniform. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing is, even after he became bitch. promoted, it's it's just some random guy who's the pilot now. So, yeah, yeah, it was an interesting, like, Old why Tim isn't Wesley there? He's finally, yeah. like, okay to, to pilot. Yeah. Like, chi- they're like, you know what? <laughs> Starfleet's, like, told us that we shouldn't let children fucking drive. <laughs> children shouldn't be what, in charge. What, what, what would Starfleet Command think when they hear that a child yeah. has been driving the flagship they're like, they're like, like, they're like, of, who, the enter- of the whole who federation? You, who like, blackmailed you? What a That's what they would say. <laughs> Uh, this doesn't make any sense. But anyway, listen, if you if you like stuff we've been doing, you can head on over to FugitiveFrames.com. There's a bunch of stuff there that we do. One of them being the Fugitive Frames film podcast, which is, you know, it's a lot of fun. We do a yep. lot of fun movie discussions and whatnot over there. We also have the Fugitive Games YouTube channel. Is, you know, yes. we, play, we, do, we haven't uh, put a video up in a little bit, but there's a ton of content there right now. You know, on on uh, on our channel. What's a good one to point? Out? Maybe a good one looking through right now. Ober Din was pretty good. Return, Return of the, the Ober Din, Din is a freaking great game. Like yeah. even if you don't go back and watch your videos of it, if you haven't uh, played the game, uh, you should because it's all about figuring out figuring out how everyone on a ship died. Yeah, it's probably the most satisfying game where you play as an insurance inspector. That has ever been insurance made. adjuster insurance adjuster it's ever been made it's very satisfying just yeah, to go through like, and go oh that's that's what happened to that guy he fell yeah, out like of every window. connection you make leads you to something else it's pretty wonderful you should try it out and there's giant shocking moments here and there where you go holy shit what the yeah, fuck is that it goes it goes <laughs> places too <laughs> It's kind of amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's all that stuff. You can head on over to FugitiveFrames.com and we'll find all that shit there. And y'all know what's coming next week. It's maybe the most famous episode of TNG of all time. The best of both worlds. Enough to merit its own Blu-ray release. Yes, which is why Ricardo and Dan and Sarah, yes, I need to yes. send you the very specific version that we need to watch of it because there's Ooh. there's a bunch of versions of it that we need to not watch. We need to watch the original broadcast version. So that's what we're going to do. Also, Scott will be returning to help guide us through all of the complexity of Best of Both Worlds. Okay, and for the v- and for the listeners at home or in their car or on the subway or where have you, how are we doing that? Are we combining the two episodes together? Or are we splitting them between parts one and two? No, we're we're doing it as intended and broadcast. So. Okay, and will will um, Scott will Wheaton. join us for part one, part two, or both? Yes, he will join us for both, and also in an attempt to sort of emulate the way the broadcast version was because both Ricardo and I and Sarah actually need to take a a week off for various reasons. That'll actually coincide perfectly between best of both worlds, part one and part two. It'll actually be a pretty good sort of uh, facsimile of what happened. We're not going to do it as extremely as it happened in real life, which is like months. But we're wow, still but gonna make you hold out, guys. No, just for just for a week or a week or just, two. We'll see. 
We'll see how that turns out. But that's going to be next time. Best of both worlds. It's going to be cool because I think Dan hasn't seen it either, right? No, I haven't. And um, yeah. that is like the big milestone that I know of that I hadn't yet reached. And so uh, like this has kind of been a long time coming for me ever since we started this podcast. It's the big one. It's the one that without hyperbole kind of redefined Star Trek and what they do with Star Trek in general. So it's a big one. But that's next week. We'll, well see you guys next up. week. And we'll see you guys next week, everybody. See we'll ya. Stay safe. Bye, everybody. Bye.